This is just a quick little video I wanted to do to reply to a comment on one of my videos because I started to write the reply and I think in writing it sounded rude. Now, let, let me read the comment. Now, this video, this comment is on a video I just recently did on uh, putting together a controller to have a third and fourth player on my arcade machine. And this user wrote, or viewer wrote, uh, can you make cybersecurity videos or coding videos? I respect you and what videos you make, but please make more coding videos. And he's trying to be polite, and I completely get that. I put out a lot of videos. Uh, you can't expect every video to be specifically for you. Uh, but he's asking me to do more. Well, first of all, cybersecurity videos. I don't do cybersecurity videos. I don't do videos on security. I don't trust any company that makes something that says their primary focus is security or privacy because anybody who's focusing on that is, is focusing on the wrong thing and those things are important but security is just understanding if you understand the technology you can keep it secure uh, so my goal with my videos is not to teach security or cyber security it's to teach you about computers both software and hardware primarily software but a little bit of hardware because you should understand a little bit of both and a little bit is all you need but he's asking me to make more videos on coding Obviously, that video uh, was not on coding. It was on creating, putting together a two-person gamepad. But let me read off the list of videos from before that. And I do at least two videos a week. I can't, I just don't have time to do more than what I've created. But the video before that is generating random word lists using bash and grep and set and stuff like that. The one before that is, okay, that one was another hardware upgrade on the arcade. So that one was a hardware one. But before that, converting JSON strings to JSON, software, programming, bash. Next, the one before that is Godot Android Home Screen Launcher. That is decompiling or un unpackaging an APK for Android, modifying it, repackaging it, and pushing it to a device to give it new functionality. Again, software. Antivirus sucks. That one was just me talking about security and how you know things like antivirus are just... I don't trust them. They don't make sense. Uh, but that's talking about software, and I gave some examples and links to programs I wrote. So still, software. The one before that, Z Shell multi line editor that's using your shell to basically uh, put out edit multiple lines using your text editor of choice, in my case, Vim. The one before that is, it, is another arcade one, but it's remote accessing the original Android system on it through SSH using Termux. Again, all software stuff. So I have the last one, two, three, four, five, six seven videos, six of them were about software, and that's two a week. So I don't know if this person's just missing most of my videos. I feel like someone commented a similar thing a couple weeks ago, probably the same guy. Um, but I just want to say, I, 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 I'm doing plenty of software videos. Not every thing I do, and that's, I think, one of the drawbacks of my channel and why I don't get more views is I'm very specific on what I do. It's like, here's a problem I had. I learned how to do it, how to fix the problem, how to accomplish a task, and now I'm sharing it with you. And if you don't need that right then and there, maybe maybe just the video isn't important to you. Uh, but I have it there as a reference for you and me too. Sometimes I look up stuff, how do I do this, and I find that I already made a video on it, which is just makes me feel silly. Um, but I just wanted to politely reply that I I'm doing plenty of videos on software. 90% of my videos are on software. The ones on hardware uh, are also, I think, important and useful. Um, maybe he's just not liking the software videos I'm doing, but they're the ones I'm doing because that's my focus. I'm doing a lot of Android videos right recently. I'm trying to split it up to where I have uh, a standard Linux desktop and an Android device. And let me tell you this, a lot of people will argue this, Android is a Linux system, 100%, not kinda sorta. It is a Linux system, it is running the Linux kernel. Yeah. Android itself runs on top of Linux and it has some of its own quirks and that's why I'm doing videos on it to show you how to get around the Android system but 99% of what I do on my Android device is the same exact thing way I would do it on my desktop because it's Android uh, or because it's Linux it's a Linux kernel and but there are little tweaks for the interface and how it boots and I'm trying to educate people because those are lesser known things it's hard for me to find that information sometimes I gotta figure it out myself and I am gonna have a lot of those videos coming up I am going to try to go back and forth you know shell videos uh, Linux desktop videos and Android videos but I think both are important 
if you own an Android device, um, a lot of people feel like, oh, Android is, I, I, I'm not a huge Android, um, you know, I, I like a lot of, I like my Linux desktop better because I like the interface, but on a handheld device, the Android interface is really good for small devices. I wouldn't want, I could run Xorg and a full Linux desktop on my phone. I don't because it's not practical, but I do run a Linux shell on there uh, that can do pretty much everything that my Linux desktop does. And I write scripts and I put icons on my screen that run those scripts so that I don't have to be typing everything on my phone. I SSH into the phone and I'll write out the scripts. So I'm just doing it like I do at the desktop and that way I have one click to run a script that might have a menu, I, but I do it on my device similar to my desktop. If you don't like Android, um, you have very few options out there for mobile devices. And a lot of people use Android. And if you understand it, just like your desktop system, if you understand all the ins and out of it, yeah, it's a little weird. I don't like the way it does everything, but you can control it and you have just as much control over it as you do your desktop system. So that is my goal is to educate people. And yes, my primary goal is, my, my goal is to focus on free and open source software, or at least open source software. And that goes for desktop and mobile devices. So I'm not really sure again whether this person's just missing uh, a lot of my videos because I am putting out a lot of them. Uh, I have an RSS feed on my website, filmsbychris.com. Chris with a K, there'll be a link in the description. There's an RSS feed at the top, so you can use that to keep track of my videos if for some reason you don't know how to check my videos on YouTube. Um, but again, six out of my last seven videos were on uh, coding. And you know what, if I occasionally do a hardware video, I'm sorry, you should understand some hardware too. Maybe it's not a project you're going to do. Maybe you want to skip that video. But if, if, if you don't like one of my videos, skip that video. You should be able to tell by the title and thumbnail whether it's something you'd be interested in or not. Um, if you don't like most of my videos, then maybe you shouldn't watch my channel. I don't want to, I'm not trying to be rude, um, but I just don't get when people complain about my videos. It's like, if you don't like just one, if you disagree with something I said, like I was technically wrong, yeah, comment about it. But if you just didn't find my video useful and you find most of my videos useful, skip that one. <laughs> and if you didn't find it useful and I do a lot of videos that you don't find useful, maybe, maybe not watch my videos anymore. Again, I'm trying to, to, to really express here that I'm not trying to be rude. I don't want to be like, don't watch my videos. But um, there have been a lot of channels on YouTube that I watched for a long, long time and they kind of went off in a direction and eventually I just unsubscribed from them. And maybe I'll check back in with them every once in a while, but they got to go the route they need to go. And I'm, I'm pretty much on the same route I've been since the beginning, you know, just talking about free and open source software, whether it's on uh, uh, arcade cabinet, uh, console, uh, uh, a um, kiosk, a mobile device or desktop. My goal is to teach you guys and introduce you to open free and open source software to encourage you to make free and open source software to modify free and open source software free and open source software and to um, to also just bring attention to projects to you that you may not know about. Uh, so that's it. This was unscripted, just me talking. And uh, that's it. Uh, I thank you for watching. I hope that you do find my videos useful and interesting and I hope you continue watching. Uh, and again, if you're missing some of them, check out my RSS feed. It's been up for years. It goes way, way back. So have a great day.